where do I begin? So, what I need to do is make a workbench. Where the hell am I going to put a workbench in here? Picked up some wood. Yeah, it cost me about a million dollars each piece. Wood is pretty expensive right now. So I got 2 by 4 by 8s here, premium. That's all they had. I just wanted to get like select or something for a workbench, but no word of a lie, one of these here in Canada at Home Hardware is $8.99. $9. So it's usually what, a bit maybe $2.30 each. So I got the mowers here. The time masters are over there. Got the two stand-ons, the 52, the 36. Look at all these tools everywhere. I got stuff in these two coolers too. Because <laughs> when we moved, I ran out of boxes and I might as well uh, use the airspace in the coolers, right? There's actually a lot of nuts and bolts and little tools and stuff in there, but I got cases everywhere here. Right there. Stuff laying everywhere. I can't do anything here. I got no room. All my mower blades, I got some new ones. Some more of these gator blades here. I got, I got a whole bunch of them. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Or so. Yeah. Right on. Okay, so I gotta get this all cleared out here. And uh, I think I'm gonna build a, cause the plan is um, I am gonna build a, I want a metal bench too. But I'm going to make a mobile metal bench. Not right now. Once I'm hooked up uh, with a welder. Um, there's a wire here. It's roughed in. I got an electrician friend here. I'm pretty sure this is the right gauge for about 30 amps. And it's going right to the panel. Uh, I got to get hooked up for a welder. And uh, But first of all, what I'm going to do is, I got, yeah, I got to clear it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a... I might even change my mind by the time I start filming building the stuff and whatever but I think along this wall right here I am gonna build an eight foot uh, maybe about 40 inch tall by 30 sorry 30 by three feet maybe two and a half or three feet from the wall out to your gut so I'm gonna build it on that wall there and then under here what I want to do is I want to get a mobile metal bench possibly an eight footer maybe cut in half two four footers the same height as the wood one on heavy duty casters that hey if i need one four foot by three foot uh workbench and i need to roll it over here and work on something lock the wheels and work on whatever i'm working on can roll it back and put it back and it looks like a nice bench going right around the whole corner what do you guys think of that idea i know justin little likes that idea okay Let's see what happens here. on set off the uh, smoke detector in here well at least I know it's working it works with uh, exhaust must be a uh, co2 Gotta check it out. who knows I got both doors open anyway I got the one of the uh, garage doors open and I got the back door open here there's a breeze coming through here yeah, I can smell a little bit of exhaust but I'll be all right all right, now that we got a little bit of room here, we got to, I guess, shove some stuff out of the way for now, and uh, let's just see what happens. I, honestly, I have no plan. Like, I, I've built benches before. I did it at the other house. I did it at another house before that, and uh, I don't write nothing down. I don't, I just kind of go with it, and I do use a level, so that's the main thing, right? And I do use screws, but we'll see what happens here, right? <laughs>
Okay, so it looks like we have a, a bit of a clean slate here now to start with. Very lucky to have one outlet here because you know what? I didn't even notice. I don't think there's a single outlet along this wall. I know there's not one behind that Milton Strong sign. And then you got a switch right here for the stupid lights that will be uh, leaving the garage and uh, a light outside. So that's kind of retarded. We're going to have to uh, add on to that. What do you think, Jess, if you're watching this video? My uh, local electrician and uh, drummer of transistor radio group. I think we're going to have to expand off that one. So the bench is going to be going along here. I don't know if I'm going to do it right from the corner. I might as well. Might as well do it right from the corner, just along the wall. It'll be eight feet. Let's grab a two by four here. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's going to self-build itself. Oh, look at that, eh? I, I blocked all the two by fours in now. That's okay. When I do it, just uh, rough it up and it'll come out. For measuring purposes you know from the corner to there and that's eight feet right there so if I got ten footers I could have gone ten foot ten foot probably right to this edge here but you know what that tool case right there I do want to get a new tool a new a new tool case I can't talk today but uh, I think that one will fit like right here then beside it to the left I might as well just build it right from the corner all right, and then uh, the mobile bench that I'd like to do is going to be at this temporary table right here. Uh, the fold-out table. All right, just along under the window there. So the reason why I wanted to build, uh, you know, the uh, bench that's actually going to be attached to the wall and stay there and not be mobile is just so I can build uh, some shelves above it too. All right, and I have some stuff there and then have some storage underneath the bench too. So let's see what happens here. All that I need to uh, to build my workbench here. So I'm not going to build a, a workbench, as you guys know already, out of gold or platinum or anything like that. It's not going to be all shiny, and I'm not using the best tools in the world. My tools are dirty; they work. You don't need shiny, brand new tools and shiny cases and whatever. Hey, I use my tools. Yeah, I clean them when I can. The drawers work. Looks like a bit of a mess, but you know what? It's organized <laughs> for me. I, I know exactly where I can find everything that I have in this toolbox here. That's my classic radio right there. It still works. Had that since I was a teenager. So, all I need to uh, build my workbench is uh, a hammer. A pen, measuring tape. I don't know why this mini torch is in here. I don't smoke, but okay, we don't need that. Uh, stud finder. Got my drill. Ginger ale. I know I pretty much stopped drinking. I know some of you are gonna give me shit right now, but uh, I'll have the odd beer. But I'm having a ginger ale for this one. Some safety glasses. I need a tripod for sure to make this video. And then my uh, chop saw. So I've had this thing for a bit, a million years now. Um, it's a Mastercraft. From Canadian Tire. In Canada. I don't know what the blade is here. Is that a 10 inch? Yeah, I think it's a 10 inch. That's how much I know about this saw, but I, I use this for a million jobs. Couple basements, fences, decks. Yeah, I've, I can't even tell you how long I've had this saw for, and, and it works really good. <laughs> works perfect. That's all you need. Okay. Sorry, I just had my finger there in the way, there. A couple more fingers. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this video here. I'm gonna leave you guys hanging for now. Oh, I forgot about the levels too. I, I will be using a level. Don't worry. I'm not gonna level it to my feet. And I do have a measuring tape, so I'm going to find the studs on this wall 
and uh, I'm going to mark them up and we're going to go from there. Okay, so that will be in the next video. So thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you thought this was a little comical or maybe it was uh, educational for you or maybe both. I'm just having fun here. That's all. I'm just a, uh, I'm just some guy uh, trying to build a, a workbench in his new garage. Okay. So be nice to everyone and uh, do something nice for someone today and we'll see you soon. Peace to everyone.